so for the uninitiated among you uh we have north america versus europe taking place next week at combo break it'll be on the friday uh and the teams are as or the you should know the teams by now if not you'll find out the teams when we look through who is actually uh, playing versus who round one you have landon versus ghost Sane. round two you have victim of ritual versus tetsu round three shadow 20 z versus kira kira round four cuddle core versus fujito round five anakin versus k was round six junior 20 z versus chicken Mario. uh round seven wait was that five or wait five six seven eight yeah uh <laughs> round seven jp versus super cream i stopped i forgot to count um Round eight, Joe Crush versus Save Black. Round nine, Kaiser versus Fergus. And then round 10 is Justin Iglesias, not Enrique, uh, versus Joker. Now, so initially when we first had the 10v10 teams as well, like I just looked at it like this is, it's pretty good for Europe. I'm going to be honest. Like when I was like the team, what? Landon, Victim, Shadow, Cuddle, Anakin, Junior, Joey, Joe Crush, Kaiser, and Justin Iglesias. Like when, I, when we initially saw the teams, I was just kind of like, yeah, this is... That's really not a problem for the 10 that we have. You know, Gosain, Tetsu, Kira, Fujito, myself, Chicken Mario, Super Kamis, Stephanie Black, Fergus, and Joker. Like, Speed Kicks even made a tweet um, where he was like, uh, NA fucked up by allowing it to be anything other than a 5v5. Because he just, he knows. Even Speed Kicks knows the talent pool is not that deep. It doesn't run that deep. They can't, they can't field 10 strong players. They can field five and that's it three maybe i'd say three personally i'd say three that's just me <clears throat> do we want to look in depth at these matches and do our predictions on who's gonna win or do we just want to because for me personally i think quite a few of them are cut and dry but here's the thing about like in tekken there's there's always times where things should happen should but like they don't you know like on paper x and y should win but tekken isn't played on paper you know um yeah tekken has a bullshit factor you yeah we, we're not home we don't have the whole home field advantage and there will be the jet lag but that's not gonna bother us you know a lot of like for a lot of these players seasoned travel players you know um this is joker's first time going this far but ferg's been to america before super has been myself um kira go sane like a lot of us have traveled this far before um it's, so every game is first to do this so this is the only the first round how it works is we'll say the style every one of these matches is played and then if you lose you're eliminated the surviving players make through to the next round and i think it's like a first to seven points or something like that from there um i can't remember the exact format but all of these matches will be played the surviving players will survive into a next wave and i think it'll be decided in that wave now I think Landon versus Gosain. I said this before. This is a waste of Gosain. I believe it really and truly it is a waste of Gosain. Gosain could be doing, you know, he could be off, you know, taking care of some much bigger fish, you know. But, you know, he just, he gets Landon, sure. You know, he, get, he gets the free game. Gosain gets the bye. Gosain makes it to the second round. That's fine. Now, Tetsu versus Victim of Ritual is interesting. I know this is taking place next next Friday, May 27th. You can see the bomb there, May 27th. Um, Tetsu versus Victim is ritual. Uh, sorry, but yeah. T Tetsu versus Victim is interesting. We all know how good Tetsu is. I know how good Tetsu is. But his results against Nina have been very iffy in the past. I don't know whether he is, he is losing to Nina or he is losing... Um, to Jod, <laughs> to play one way. I don't know whether it's the way Jod plays. He beats Jod, and then Jod also beats a shit of him other times as well. So Tetsu is a true 50-50. Um, I think Tetsu. I'd have to see what Tetsu's like. I don't. It also depends who he plays. I think Lydia could be a good shot if he wants to, but like his Claudio has been looking so good recently. So with him, I genuinely don't know. But like, I think that's a win. I'd call that a win for Tetsu. I'd I'd say that's two. That's 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 two zero for Europe right there. Ghost and Tetsu winning. Now Shadow twenty Z versus Kira. A lot of people are giving to Shadow. A lot of people are giving this one to Shadow, and I think Kira has a weird advantage in this one because 
Shadow might be used to the way those shitty American Eliza's play the way the character, you know what I mean? I think he might be used to their way of just like, oh, this character doesn't work. This character's not good. Eliza's a bottom five. And then Kira's just like, I'm going to show you why this character is good. I'm going to make you respect this character. That's That was Kira's goal is that I'm going to make these guys respect this character of Eliza. And I think that's 3-0 for Europe right there. I think Kira takes it over Shadow as well. Now, to us, I think of the first few games, that's the closest one to me, I think. Um, I think... Tetsu and Kira are the interesting ones for me. If I'm being if I'm being the biased EU guy that I love to be, I say it's 3-0. But if I'm gonna be unbiased and look at it objectively, I think Shadow has a very good chance and Victim has a very good chance. But I'm still gonna say 3-0 to Europe because you know that's that's the kind of content we put out over here. Uh Kaduko versus Fujito. I've seen Kaduko lose to some poor Kunimitsus. Oh, sorry, I've seen the poor Kunimitsus they have over there in america and we have fujito who plays on keyboard these guys they're gonna be they're gonna be here's here's how it goes this is what's coming the cuddle's gonna sit down she's gonna plug in her pad to get ready to play fujito's gonna sit down he's gonna have a duffel bag right he's gonna duffel bag in front of him he's gonna pull out the duffel bag of fucking hyperx alloy rgb keyboard with chrome x brown switches He's going to plug it in and Kaduko is just going to lose all composure. She's going to lose all composure. She's going to see the keyboard. She's going to be like, it's lighting up. How do I deal with this? It's over. It's over. 4-0 to Europe. Now, Anakin versus Kawis. This one is very funny. This one is very funny because when they were doing the live draw, I was speaking to that joke and a few other people at the time. And I said... I said just before this draw, I said, I feel like I'm going to get Anakin, you know. And then out of the hat came Anakin, out of the other hat came K Wiss, and then here we are. Now, personally, it's probably my favorite matchup, I think, out of the players, I think Anakin. And I think I actually go in with an advantage because it's a win win for me. Because if you look at, like, there's a few predictions here, like uh, Y giving a prediction. Um, there were a few other predictions I saw. I think. Like, if you look at quote receipts, there are a few predictions as well. Yeah, more predictions, more predictions. Um, if you look at all the predictions and, like, the general um, vibe, people are... Almost everyone is saying that Anakin's going to win that one, right? It's a win-win for me. If I end up going up and losing, no one's going to be like, oh, K-Wiss, you ruined it, you should have won. But then when I win, everyone's going to be sitting there like, wow, what an upset. K-Wiss took out their best. They're rattled now. Without Anakin, they can't hide behind him anymore. What do we do? You know? Um, so 5 to you. <laughs> no. With this one, it's like, for me, it's whatever. You know, this is someone I've wanted to play with stakes on the line. Um, you know how good he is. I played him in casuals quite a bit, even back and forth, whatever. Um, but casuals are casuals. Like, you can't, t you can't go off casuals too much. When it comes to things like both players and will normally be hiding something or whatever or like some people just can't take casual seriously whatever the hell um they're gonna anakin let you in probably um you see the cutting edge to kill him yeah that is i made i made this i made this um reference the other time uh for those of you who missed it you know in demon slayer there's there's the cutting edge right when tanjiro sees the thread he sees the thread he knows he can he can that's what okay i can now slice this demon's throat i see the thread right um with anakin when i played him a few times and from watching him from watching him i've i've seen the thread multiple times i know how to take care of him the only player in my life i've ever played and i could never see the thread was fucking joey fury <laughs> like when when they would do when they'll do the draw and i got anakin i was like oh thank fuck it's not joey fury <laughs> like that was all i was thinking at the time like he's the one person in my life like it doesn't matter who i've ever played I was like, I can't see the thread. Like, I didn't understand what was going on. So, with the Anakin one, um, it's winnable. It's winnable. He has the edge going into it. I have the win-win uh, scenario. Um, there are a few things about the matchup I like to exploit. We're going to see if he he knows what to deal with. I, I showed him a bit when we played in casuals. Like, I showed him a bit of this stuff and a bit of this. So, maybe he's, he's not going to be ready for a bit of this. Um, but either way, I think... I think it's my, I think it's my optimal 
my optimal um situation i think i think he's gonna be shook from the previous four na losses don't forget to breathe you have to do my i have to do my breathing what's 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 my breathing called like you know water breathing and flame breathing and stuff what would my breathing be like fucking i don't know checklist breathing whatever the fuck but yeah no um at the end of the day it's gonna be good fun so salt to breathing <laughs> um junior versus chicken maru i think that's free i think that's free for nuna that's over uh joey versus super akuma personally from watching them play i have to say this one's in joey's favor i think i think that one's in joey's favor and i think outside of I think outside of Anakin, Joey is the scariest player. For me personally, I, I'm, I'm more worried about playing Joey than I am Anakin. And I know that that sentiment is expressed by quite a few other people as well. Um, so I think that I think that's a test for Super Kuma. I think it is... Honestly, if I look at the list, I think it's probably Super Kuma's worst matchup is Joey out of the players. I think anyone else, I wouldn't be worried about him. But Joey is the one that's like... That, that I that I start to have questions for. So um I think I think he should have it. But being if I all right, if I do this truly unbiased right now, um I'd say first two go to Europe. Oh, but Tetsu I'm so off about. I say first you go to Europe. I'd say number three. It should go to Kira, but I what did I say about shoulds earlier? I'm gonna give that one to Shadow for now. I'm gonna give that one to Shadow. Four, I think, should go to Fujito, but I've seen the way Cuddle adapts. I'd say, honestly, I think because Fujito's a name people don't really know as well, you know. So if I say Fujito wins, they're going to be like, oh, but who is Cuddle? But I, I think Fujito takes that one. Five, if we're going off who should win, we'll say Anakin takes that one. I'll even help on that prediction. I'll say Anakin takes that one as well. Just so when I beat him, it's that much sweeter. Six goes to Chicken Maru Free. Seven, I'd say goes to Joey, I'm being honest. I think seven goes to Joey. It's it's a test for Super Akuma. It's a test. Eight, Joe Crush, Sefi Black. I think Sefi should not have a problem. With all of the characters that Joe Crush can bring to the plate, I think Sefi is fine. I think he's honestly fine. I've played against Joe Crush, I've watched him play, and I just think... As long as Sefi does what he has been doing, I think he should be able to to break down um, the. I was thinking like some kind of like train reference, like Crush Express or something like that, but I don't know the Joe Crush thing, whatever. Um, I think he should be fine. And bro, Sefi was even out here trash talking, man. You know, Sefi's out here trash talking. That's how you know he's feeling it for real. Um, Kaiser versus Fergus, I think. With Fergus, you for him, it was a simple case of like, if we could have chosen, we just put Fergus against any waifu player, and then him going down to Kaiser. I think that's a that's a free win for Fergus. I think that's a free win for Fergus. Honestly, um, I don't think waifus are a problem for him. And Justin Iglesias, Joker. I think Joker's ready. I think Joker's Joker's addition to the team. He's you know, he was the late replacement for Kaiba. I think he is ready to take out Justin, but I don't want to sleep on Justin because he was like one of the people that everyone was sitting around and they were just like, why isn't this guy in the team? Like Justin was the first person in after Redacted got dropped. So I'd give that to Joker. I'd give that to Joker. Um, but chat, chat, I want, I want you guys' input as well. I want you guys to type, how will I do this? How will I do this? All right, if you guys do so in chat, if you do like one A, that means you think Landon wins. If you do two B, that means you think Tetsu wins. Three A means Shadow. Four A means Cuddle like that. So I want to know what you guys think in chat. So like just type out like one A, two B, whatever the fuck. So all the A answers of the Americans, all the B answers are for uh, the Europeans. And then one A, two B, two whatever, right? Like I want to know what chat thinks as well. Um, how does round two work? So round round two works in a case that all the surviving players uh, will make it through to the next wave. And then I'm not sure what happens. Yeah, 1B means go same. Yeah. So 
1B, 2B, 3B, 4B, 5B, 6B, 7B, 8B, 9B, 10B. I mean, I, I don't disagree with that one, you know. Justin, jo I think Justin versus Joker is like a, is like a sleeper main event, you know. I think it's like a sleeper main event. Um, 9A. 9A? Really? Kaiser over Fergus? That's interesting. And 10B, that's Joker. 1B, 2B, 3A, 4B, 5B, 6A, 7A. 6A, 7A. So Junior Junior over Nuno and Joey over Super Kuma? 8B, 9B, 10B. Honestly, I think Europe has the advantage of the first round. I think all... So I think all Europe has to do is win 6 in the first round. And can... Wait, how do you like draw on the screen? There's like apps you can draw on the screen. I don't have one right now. A lot of people are putting for Shadow over Kira. That doesn't surprise me just because of who Shadow is. But I think if Kira takes this seriously, a lot of people will be surprised. But a lot of the things I'm seeing, to be honest, there's a, a lot of people. I don't I don't know if like it's because this is a European stream. Um, but a lot of people are like um more B's than A's in general. All I think so let me let me highlight the key. These are the key matches, guys. Use square shot. Alright. These are the pivotal matches. These are the pivotal matches. Because I think the rest of them, like I think Landon versus Gosain is a foregone con conclusion. I think Landon versus Gosain is a foregone conclusion. I think Victim versus Ritual, Victim, Victim and Tetsu, I think is a true 50-50. I think. I think it's a true 50-50 uh, if I'm being unbiased. But these, these games, the rest of them are so important. The character doesn't work. I think these games are so important because Joker versus Justin, I think, is another 50-50. I think it's also the final one. It sets the tone for the second wave. And I think Justin is so hyped up coming into this, taking him out. He's like their talisman right now. Obviously, other than Anakin, he's like their talisman right now. He's so hyped up. If Joker just takes him out in the final game 2-0, it sets the tone. But like, the other games are important because Anakin, Joey, and Shadow. That's the top three. That's the top three. If they can be taken out in the first wave, morale gone. Morale gone. There's there's nothing they can do in the next wave. There's nothing they can do in the next wave. They're going to be sitting there just like, Anakin was, guys, Anakin was supposed to carry. Anakin was supposed to carry. And then they're going to be sitting there, what do we do, man? Like Joey was supposed to carry, you know? But then, also important, if we lose Super Kuma in the first wave, the Joey versus Super Kuma, if we lose Super Kuma in the first wave, which I think is a possibility, I think Joey Fury is his worst matchup of all the players there. If we lose Super Kuma in the first wave, for them, you know, that's going to that's gonna give them morale. Regardless of what happens in the other games, that's going to give them a, a morale boost going into the second half. You know? And I think Anakin versus k -Wiss is important. For what I mentioned before, what I mentioned before, you know, he's their carry one. But also, this is a game no one is expecting me to win. <laughs> Not a single person has predicted me winning this game yet. So having that upset there, that's a potential for the biggest upset on the board. They're going to be sit Everyone's going to be sitting there and they're going to be stunned silent. They're going to be stunned silent. They're going to be sitting there like, what? What is going on? No, you you guys say I can do it, but that's because you guys, you're in my chat. You're supposed to say that, right? <laughs> you won't be allowed in the Airbnb show, Kira. Um, I think Shadow versus Kira is another potential upset because Americans don't know how good Kira Kira is. They don't know how good Kira Kira is. I'm sure Shadow's a smart young man. He's going to be doing his, he's going to be doing his, his research, his due diligence going into it. So he's, he's going to be prepared. But everyone else... Everyone else is going to be sitting around just like, oh, but like, who's Kira Kira? Who the hell is this guy? You know, and then he's going to win. And I, I think Sefi versus Joe is also important because he's Joe. Joe Crush is a very vocal member of the team. You know, he's a he's a very vocal member of the team. I think he also carries some morale with him. And I think that's a potential for an upset. As much as I do, do believe, as much as I do believe Sefi should win this one, I think if Joe does manage to take it, I feel like the pop off, the the shit talk, that's gonna go crazy. That's gonna go crazy, you know. 
May lost to a Pakistani from outside Lahore doing day one things. So what was that guy's? I even forgot that guy's name, man. He just turned up and did his bro. That was peak, you know. These names. So here's the thing. Like I said earlier, those games are important. Those those matches on their own are important. But I think we win. We win if all those guys are gone first wave. I think if these four are gone first wave, it's over. It's actually over. Second wave doesn't count. And see, all right. You know what's interesting here, guys? We have Way Gamble in the chat right now asking, can one person beat the other team by themselves? That question is literally him asking, can Anakin carry? That's that's what he's asking right there. Is Anakin allowed to carry like he always does? Because that's what we as Americans need. That's what that's what he's asking right there. That's what he's asking. Is it possible for Anakin to carry? I don't think all of them are gonna go out first round. I think it's possible. I think Kadoko versus Fito, Kadoko is very likely to get uh, knocked out. Um, Shadow versus Kira, I think Shadow is very likely to get knocked out. Anakin versus Kwis, I'd say, we'll be honest, that's in his favor. Um, but it's possible. And Joey Super Akuma. Joey was, so Super Akuma was very close to beating Joey. He was very close to beating Joey at Golden Letters, but he didn't. And just from like an analyzing their gameplay, Superhuman seems to struggle against Joey. So I do think personally it's his worst matchup, but he can win it. I think that's the thing. I think even in the bad matchups here, we still can win. I think my game versus Anakin is like the perfect example of that. I can still win that. Whether or not I do is different.